MCC Just Motos. Hey, good morning guys. It's Andy from MCC Just Motos. I got a special how-to video today. I have bought a new AGV K6 helmet and um, I put uh, the, it comes with a pin lock visor in there. I have my old Arai HD4, which I'm still going to keep. It's a good helmet, but it's more of a ADV off-road helmet. I'm going to change the comm systems from the uh, Cessna SMH10 from the AD, uh, HD4, XD4 to the AGV K6. And also, uh, this is an old Torque T1 helmet. Um, I got a new one, the exact same. I'm going to change the comm system on this so when we go riding together, uh, we'll have comm. So today is just going to be a comm overview on how to switch from one helmet to the next helmet. So let's get into it. All right, guys. So here's everything you really need to change to change one comm system over to the next. Um, we'll start with just these two helmets right now, but I do have neck pillows. I don't really have helmet pillows. I just use neck pillows. It's a cheap hack to do. Um, but I'm just going to change them the XD4 to the K6, and then we'll get to the torque T1 later. So let's put this aside, get a helmet pillow, put it here. First thing I want to show you is you'll need a T10 Torx. And what I'm going to do now is take this uh, scene off. Uh, so we're going to, maybe you can see, take that connector off right there. We can get just unscrew them and come off. All right, T10. It's loose, you don't have to get it all the way unscrewed. All right, and then the Cena will come off, maybe a little bit more. Voila, all right. And there's a connection right here that we, pop, you gotta pop it up, pull this up, and then, let's see, I think it slides out. Just pulls out, there it is. All right, pulls out, it's a, just a standard connection there. All right, next thing we do, is you gotta pull all the pads out. Do, do, do. And you see that there are speakers in the pads, so keep those from falling out. Pull the cheek pads out. Get the speakers out. There they are. All right. Then, just pull the wiring. I, I have it taped in my helmet. There's a little Velcro, so I can take this Velcro piece off. Hopefully reuse it. There it is, it's still sticky. And that's the Cena. Alright, so I'm going to put this guy aside. And work on the AGV6 K6 install. All right, so same kind of deal. I gotta pull the cheek pads out. I don't know if I, yeah, okay. So there's just some snaps. I see. We'll show you on this side. Um, if you can see, there's just a hole for where the speaker can go. So that's what I'm gonna do is put the speaker in there. So we'll go on the left side. The longer one with the longer cord will go on the left side. And it even has a little wire run. That's really cool. So I'm going to go grab some uh, tape, some electrical tape, so I can make sure that wire run gets, gets um, taped in there good. That should be good. So those wire runs in the helmet. Oh, good. You can pull the whole thing out. Good. So. So hopefully you can see the wire run right there. 
Meanwhile, I'll run the rest of the wiring inside the padding. Actually, I better take the whole thing out. Oh, I can take the whole thing out. That's even better. Look at that. Okay. All right. Get some more duct tape on the back. All right. So there's that side there. And then I'm going to run this wire back and duct tape it to the shell a little bit so it's out of the way. Put a place for the microphone. It looks like there might even be a wow. Looks like there's a little recess right there. Oh, that's so cool. I'm so happy. There's a little recess right there that I'm going to put the microphone in. Um, that should block out a lot of the noise coming from the wind. So that's awesome. Okay, so you see, maybe, there's a recess that I'm going to put my microphone at. Cool. I'm going to put this back in now. And I'll figure out where I want to put the actual communicator controller on the helmet after I put these in. I'm probably going to have to make this part come out more on this side on the helmet. The big thing that I got right now is trying to figure out how to put this communicator. It needs to be right here. Let me just put a piece of tape right here so I know. Ha! Okay. Here's what I'm going to do. It's kind of hard to show. Let's take this back out. I'm going to run the microphone through the foam and see if I can, so I don't have to cut anything, see if I can get it to come out between the foam and the EPS liner. So right in here. I can see room. Got a zip tie. What I'm going to do, take this zip tie, cut the end off here. Stick it through here. Here we go. Okay. I can tape this part on. What I'm going to do is try and pull this piece through the little hole there using this zip tie. Okay. Come on. Got it. Okay. So this piece is through. Good. So now the piece can go back into a little hole in the front. Ah. Alright, this piece can get plugged back in to here. There they are. Okay, perfect. Alright, now all these wires can kind of go right here. So I'm hoping this would be a super easy process. Um, never is, right? Put the snaps back in. What I'll do is I'm going to hide the wiring in the folds of the helmet. So you can't see them. We'll snap everything back together. You should go in right. You have those little holes right there. There's little snaps for them. Three snaps on each side. Alright, so the wiring is done. Alright, I'll leave this one a little little loose so I can put this piece back on. Put it right here. There we go. Okay. That's going to be good. I'll use my T10. Tighten it down. Two screws there. OK. 
Okay, this side's not good. That screw, let's get this screw. There we go. All right. Ha. Not the super prettiest. Now I gotta figure out, I can plug this in right here. All right, so the whole thing snapped in. I got these wires because I cut a slit right there. I'll plug this in right there. Remember, you flip that up, put it in, snap it. Now I just gotta wrap these up good and, and make it look pretty. All right, how am I gonna do that? I think, can it go on this side here? Yes, it can go on this side of the helmet. Okay. That is it. All right, so now it's on. Got the microphone in there, recessed well in there. I got each speaker in, and uh, that's going to do it on the AGV6 install. I'm going to work on the Torque T1 next. I'm not going to make you guys sit through this, but uh, we'll get these hooked up. Hopefully this was somewhat helpful. Um, you can see just some finagling to do. <laughs> Hope you like this how-to. Please like and subscribe. We'll catch you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.